Let's just sew whatever. All right, y'all, it is ditto round two with the projector. It took me 13 minutes, this part here, to get it set up and calibrated. It kept not working, it kept not working. My room was not dark enough. I'm not sure if my cutting mat being the opposite way mattered. And then for some reason, the projector part on this stand keeps slowly falling. You can see it in the time lapse. It's slowly falling. I don't understand why. It's possibly because my cord is not on the floor. I don't know. Maybe there's something I need to tighten that isn't being tightened. So I was pretty frustrated that this took me over 13 minutes to tighten, but I finally, not tighten, but to calibrate. Like I got mad so many times. I finally got it. And here I am cutting out the pattern as quickly as possible so that it doesn't fall again while I'm cutting it out. Um, I did not thoroughly read the cut instructions of the pattern and it needed to be folded and then cut um, kind of with the right sides together so that they were mirrored. I then moved on to the instructions and I had a little bit of trouble because it really wasn't like well said how they should be put together so I started it completely wrong and had to seam rip um, and it could be because I am not that advanced at making patterns that aren't indie brands you know like I, I don't know a butter egg pattern so I texted my friend and I was like wait is this right and she was like yes that is right because then you would put the leg holes right sides together so this is what I'm doing. <laughs> so I'm serging those pieces together. I had a little bit of an issue with my serger, which made me want to buy a new serger. This one is very old. And not that there should be anything wrong with it, but I have been wanting something new for a while. So once I have my two leg holes done, you put those right sides together, one inside the other, matching up those seams. And then I just use my serger to sew around that curve, nice and slow. And then because this is a cotton fabric, I quickly surged around all of those loose ends so that when I wash them, it doesn't fray like crazy. And then I'll use my cover stitch to do the hems of the legs. And my cover stitch was having issues too. Like it didn't want to go over the bulk of fabric for some reason. It didn't do that much with the cotton, but with a knit fabric I use later on in the video, definitely had this issue. And I'm like, why? I don't understand. Um, yeah. <laughs> so I had to like rethread it. I don't even know. So I, I felt like I had more issues than I had anticipated for a pair of shorts. So that's not the Ditto's fault, that was my fault, but the instructions within the Ditto software aren't novice clothing maker friendly, I feel like. Um, but I probably just needed to read it a little bit better. I did use a different size elastic for these shorts and instead of threading it through, I decided to surge to encase it and that's a pretty ballsy move because if you catch your elastic you're gonna lose the elasticity basically because you're you're sewing over it and connecting it to the fabric that doesn't have that same retention you know what I mean so um, I did pretty good for most of it but I did catch it in a small spot which caused the elastic to, like I said, not stretch very well. I did add a little woven label within the seam as well so that we knew where the backside was. And then that was the end of the first round. I was very defeated. I was very frustrated and then I had to prove to myself that I could use this machine and try again, which I highly encourage. If you're frustrated at any point, give yourself grace, try again. So I recalibrated it. It did not take long at all. It says when it's connected. 
I'm trying to watch to see if I can fall, see it falling. So weird. Um, and so calibrating at this time took three minutes from calibration to cut. I was done in three minutes because this time I had the knowledge. I had read over the entire pattern and that helped a lot. So like I said in my previous video on the Ditto Sewing Projector, you can create new profiles. So I measured Dorothy and I used a size six within their pattern library. I will be completely honest, I have not had a chance to try these on her. Um, she is two and a half and gosh, she'll be three soon, but she's very much a three-year-old. So if I want her to do something, there's no way. <laughs> so this time I'm laying my fabric with wrong sides together so that when I cut these pieces out at the same exact time, they are mirrored. And I'm using a knit this time. I will say it's really uh, trippy. Almost for me, I'm so used to paper patterns and templates. So like me putting my hand here, I'm like, oh, oh. <laughs> it kind of weirds me out. So I'm just using my rotary cutter. This is actually given to you within the Ditto projector box. I, I just keep using it. It's actually a really nice rotary cutter. I probably need to change the blade. I haven't cut a ton of projects, but I have cut a wide variety of materials, so I feel like that can play a factor into the longevity of your blade. There were no notches or anything like that that I needed to make note of within the pattern, and there are lines, as within any clothing pattern, where you can add length to the pattern. So if you need to, what you would do is kind of like mark it out with a piece of washi tape and shift your pattern piece to add that length. I believe there are like full on tutorials of how to do that if you need to. And these pattern pieces are generated to fit the measurements given within the profiles you've set up when you install the piece. So that is the finished cutout of the shorts. Pretty quick. So now I'm going to put them together just as I did previously, but now I have the knowledge of how to do it without the pattern, which was very helpful. I've refilmed this audio three times and forgot what I was saying. And I don't think it really matters. I did buy a new serger cover stitch combo machine today. Kind of pre-ordered it um, at the store and I'll pick it up when they have it. It was more expensive than two industrials combined. And maybe an industrial serger and cover stitch machine are going to last even longer and they don't have a lot of bells and whistles but I don't really get many machines with bells and whistles so I figured you know what I haven't purchased a new machine since January <laughs> why not buy another one so I picked out a fun woven label for this one I think I thought Dorothy would get a kick out of Pikachu but as I mentioned earlier I haven't been able to try these on her uh, I do have this video going at four times speed at the moment, so if it seems like I'm sewing fast, it's because I am. I really quick did a quick, quick, quick. <laughs> How many times can I say quick? Did a quick hem on the bottom of the shorts. I believe I've heard that you can reverse your stitch basically to help lock that in place, so maybe I'm doing that correctly, maybe I'm not. I do think it would be fun to take a clothing making class. I feel like I'm pretty knowledgeable in bag making, but I am clueless when it comes to clothing making. 
And as I've said before, I prefer someone hold my hand. <laughs> I don't have a lot of bandwidth left. Hopefully someday I get it back. So I debated on if I should go iron it, but I don't think this knit fabric I'm using would iron and stay. So I'm just using clips to kind of create the casing. It would definitely have been easier to just string it through, but I thought I'm not doing it. I want it to be done when it's done or it'll never get the elastic. I'm sure we can all relate. Overall though, using the Ditto the second time, I'm sorry, the third time technically, was the charm. I had enough knowledge the second time around to make sure my lights were off, that the red line was outside of the cutting mat, as it states it should be. Uh, read how to cut out the pattern, it's very helpful. <laughs> I'm so used to bag making where I'm just like, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. So having this challenge was helpful. I want to create a fun dress for Dorothy for her birthday. Uh, chances are she won't wear it because I made it and I want her to wear it. So I'm excited for that rejection. But it'll be a fun adventure with my new machine if and when it comes. Thank you for watching. Once again, this is in no way sponsored or affiliated with the Ditto Projector. Just something fun for me.